Okay, so starting with your door access, these are all your door access control panels down in the basement. So there are five controllers down here, um, all supplied from the mains board. Um, so they've got a healthy power supply. If for whatever reason there's a power cut, um, they have a backup battery um, and that will continue to run the system um, if there's no power. There are indicators on the front here tell you that the power's healthy. So the green light that's on, meaning you've got power on the system. If that light's extinguished, then there's no power and it'll be running off the battery. And if the red light is lit, there's a fault on the battery unit. Um, bearing in mind that these uh, maglocks are quite strong and the batteries probably won't um, last very long on the system. Um, that's the only problem, but power cuts are fairly sort of, um, you don't really get them much these days anyway. So, uh, have you got any sort of on-site generator or anything? No, you just run the power. Yeah. So if there is a power cut, there may be um, an unlocking of doors after a period of time. Um, and that's just... Something. Yeah, yeah, it's just something we've got to deal with. When there's a power cut, there's a power cut. It's not really right what we can do about it. Um, there are other controllers in other riser units about around the building, I think. So I don't know whether you want me to point out where they are some point later when we go upstairs. They're all, uh, all the packs and stuff. They're very there. similar, yeah. So, there might yeah. be one or two units. Um, I know the one behind um, reception. There's two in there, I believe. Um, there's a riser unit there with some mains in, so... Uh, so how many doors are run off each unit? Um, one per unit. One door per unit? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, so there's one controller in each. So that's why you've got five here, so I assume. I haven't actually worked very much on the system. Um, on this building, um, another lad was doing that and I'd just taken over. Um, so I assume that's why there's five here, so these will do five doors in the basement, I assume. Right, okay. I think, in, I think that's how it's been wired. Right. So do you want to look at one of the doors then? Shall we go and show you what the case is with the locks? Okay, so um, on this door here we have a mag lock, and you can't see it because of the plastic, but there's actually an armature on there, and when the door closes, it puts the voltage onto the mag lock, which pulls the armature in and then locks the door. At the moment, because I've said the PCs aren't running at the moment, uh, the doors have just been left open, so the emergency releases have just been left pressed. So that's why they're constantly open at the moment. But if I reset this emergency switch in here, I should be able to show you it locking. So this is the emergency release switch here. So if that's been pushed in, the door will be permanently open. So that usually should only be obviously used under emergency conditions. Normally you present your card to this unit here which would unlock the door. This will turn green which then unlocks the door. Um, in the event of a fire alarm activation, I think the indicator flashes green and red and the door will open automatically anyway. So this shouldn't be needed under those circumstances. Um, this is generally for if there's a fault with the lock or something like that and people can't get out which again is pretty unusual so if I reset this that's reset now this door should now lock so I'll stop inside and just show you that it locks I mean, it's not quite catching because of the yeah, plastic yeah. but you can, you can see it yeah, is it's locking. Yeah. So if I just release it, that again unlocks the door. So that's the maglock type door. And then there's a latch type door. Okay, so this is the latch type door lock, which is slightly different to the maglock in the fact that it's actually a latch in the door and it engages with the latch in here. Um, the only um, issue sometimes you have with these is if the door's pressing too much against the latch, it doesn't always release. And sometimes you've got to let, the door, let go of the door and push it again a second time and it'll release. Because occasionally if the door's pressing too much against the lock, it won't release. Okay? So at the moment it's obviously unlatched, so it's just working as a normal door at the moment. So if I reset this, you should see that it locks. So this again is resetting the break glass unit, so that is now active again. So if we try this now, the door's locked. So if we release via emergency again, if 
press that in. It shows the yellow indicator at the top. You might need to bend down. That means it's actually being pressed. I'll show you that again, which is obviously a good thing. If somebody's pressed it accidentally, the first thing you need to do is check whether the yellow line is showing at the top. If it is, that means somebody's pressed it to gain release. When you reset it, you'll notice that yellow line disappears. That means it's clear and the door should be locked. And we do find quite a lot on sites that people panic and they can't get out or press it, go out, and then half an hour later we'll get rung up saying the door's not locking and it'll be something as simple as that. So that's the first thing that should actually be checked if a door is not locked. Check the emergency release board and somebody hasn't pressed it by accident in a panic to get out because we do find that quite a lot. So if I press that again, we should now have the door unlocked. Okay. So that's that one. This one's slightly different to the other ones, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, basically, it's plastic, not glass, so it doesn't actually break, but you just press it with enough enough force to release the door. And this one has a slightly different key for some reason, I don't know why. Um, this has a key in it, but it's probably an idea if we um, change that for the same type, I would have thought. I don't know why that one's been fit, but yeah. don't want it to be okay. they do really, because otherwise you're going to have problems. Right. They want to be that type of key, which is for the, the other one. So, so that should be unlocked now, yeah. I think it's physically but it may be physically locked, locked yeah. Locked, sorry, yeah. So I'll reset that, but yeah, it's probably going to, going to be an idea that we actually change that to the same type. Otherwise you are going to have problems. As you can see, I'm having problems with it now. <laughs> there you go. Okay.